The last time on Tim's gaming channel where I opened up Evolving Skies, luck was not on our side. We only got one good pull out of six packs. Well, in today's video, we're going to try and redeem ourselves. Last time we opened up six blister packs, but this time we're going to be opening up two, three packs to see if we can get better luck than last time and pull more than one good card. All right, so we have our two packs of three here. As you can see, they come with basically the same Evolving Skies Pokemon card packs, except with minor differences. As you can see here, this one comes with Umbreon and a Surfetched coin, while this pack comes with Ice Q and a Raikou coin. As I open up this Ice Q pack, the objective is, of course, that we want to get more good pulls than just one. Hopefully the Evolving Skies luck is a little bit better. There are a lot of cool cards in this Evolving Skies set. As you can see, the Ice Skew Holographic. So let's see, we got two Rayquaza packs and a Sylveon pack. Let's start with the Sylveon one, see if it is extra lucky. Now, last time I opened up Evolving Skies, my first pack was actually the luckiest pack. So let's see if that happens again where the first pack is the luckiest. You never know. Code card from the back. And four from the back. Here we go. Grass Energy. A Spirit Mask. Not sure that I've pulled that one yet. Palpitoad. Golduck. Feebas. Hopip Rapid Strike, looks very ferocious there. Hitmonchan Single Strike, Fletchling, Tentacool, definite, definite Summertime Vibes from that Tentacool, Reverse Golduck, and a Golden Crystal Cave. Oh my goodness, there's just some kind of luck about this first pack that I always open from Evolving Skies. <laughs> That is incredible. As you can see here, the cool, very, very cool card art on this golden crystal cave. Mark that down in the record books as the first gold card opened up on the channel. That's right, it is a crystal cave from Evolving Skies. All right, moving on to our second pack. I don't know what it is with Evolving Skies. I The first pack I opened just seems to be extremely lucky. And so far, I mean, even though we're still technically tied with the last time I opened up Evolving Skies, where I only got one good card, this one's one good, but it's definitely even more rare than a VMAX. So, so far so good. And we still have five more packs, including this one to go through. Steel Energy in the front, Palpitoad, Shopping Center Stadium card. That's definitely a new one for me. I haven't seen this one yet. Herdier, Applin, uh, Lillipup. I wonder if they're talking about the shopping center in Sun and Moon. Emolga, Tentacool, Pumpkaboo, Digging Gloves Reverse, and a Seismitoad. Can't really tell what this shopping center is supposed to represent from the Pokemon games. If you know, let me know down in the comment section below. All right, moving on to the last pack of that three pack. Let's see if we get any last pack of luck before we move on to the other three pack. Will we already have more good pulls than the last one? Or will we still be tied? Code card. Four from the back. And here we go. Grass Energy. Scrafty. Snow Leaf Badge. That's unique. I don't even remember seeing a badge Pokemon card before. Hippowdon, Bergmite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Bagon, of course they brought back Dragon type Pokemon to the Pokemon trading card game. Not sure if they'll ever do it with Fairy though. Woobat, a Wishy Washy Reverse, and for the final card, a Talonflame. 
All right, moving on to the next three pack to see if we get any luck from this. All right, so, so far, so good. We got one really good pull, but we still haven't beat last time where we had one good pull out of six packs. Let's see, do these last three packs have any luck for us? This pack is actually, looks like it was sealed to the box, almost. That's a little weird. Looks like this time we got Enduraludon, Sylveon, and Rayquaza. Umbreon Holographic looks very cool with that moon in the background. Of course, Umbreon is EV evolving at nighttime. And the code card. All right, so we're down to our final three packs. Should I start with Sylveon? No, I think I'll end with Sylveon since that was our lucky pack last time. Let's start with Duraludon. Definitely cannot complain after getting a gold card. Throw this to the side. Take out the code card. Throw that to the side. And take four from the back. Steel Energy. Tentacruel. Palpitoad. Shopping Center again. Rufflet. Lotad. Emolga. Woobat. Gossifler. Jump Fluff Reverse, Rapid Strike. Apparently this card has been used for uh, for its ability, is used in competitive, and card in the back, Shift Tree. All right, moving on now to the Evolving Skies Rayquaza pack that was weirdly sealed to the actual box that I opened it in. I wonder if there'll be anything odd in here too, or if it'll all look normal. So far, it looks relatively normal. Code card from the back, throw it to the side, and take four from the back. Here we go, second to the last pack. Fighting Energy, Dream Ball, Stormy Mountain. Interesting stadium card. Baldor, Dwebble, Mareep, Drowsy, Scrafty, Feebas, he's surrounded by lures. A reverse, Raihan from the Sword and Shield game. He was the dragon gym trainer. And for the card in the back, an Ampharos, Sylveon. The pack art that was lucky for us in the first one, will it be lucky for us in the second one? Let's see. Oops, open that weirdly. Throw that to the side. And take out the packaging as well as the code. Throw that to the side. Put them in the front and here we go. Final pack. Electric Energy. Gold Duck. Herdier. The Single Strike Scroll of the Fanged Dragon. An extremely large Card name, Rogan Rolla, Wabafet, Hopip Rapid Strike, Swablu, Zorua, a reverse Thievil, and the final card is a regular Thievil. So we were not able to prove that these three packs were actually better than regular blister packs because we still, once again, only got one good pool, although it was a really, really good one. All right, so we weren't able to beat the one pool out of six packs again, and we once again opened up the best card on the first pack, but at least we got our holographics that came with the other three card packs. That's all I have for today's video. I'll catch you in the next one.